Coach's Corner now. Jones County's Justin Rogers joins 41 NBC's Bill Shanks today. Here's part one of their interview talking about the Greyhounds upcoming season. Without a doubt, one of the best stories in high school football here in Middle Georgia over the last several years was the, the success of Jones County last season. 10 and 3, the best season in school history. Justin Rogers, the head coach of the Greyhounds, a big part of that. It was his first year. Lord, I tell you, you kind of set the precedent way high for year number one, didn't you? We did. We, we, we laughed about that, saying <laughs> that yeah, we wanted to move the bar. We didn't realize we'd move it quite that fast so far. Yeah. Well, it was a special year. Uh, you hated to lose it's the way you did. You should have won that game. You know, we, let's not uh, even talk about that game. Uh, but what did that whole season mean for the community of Gray in Jones County? Oh, uh, it was it was just great. It just brought it kind of brought the whole community together, give them something to be extremely proud of. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a blue collar community, just hardworking, good people with great values, you know. And this gave them something they could beat their chests about and be proud of, you know, something they could hang their hat on and and, and go around to various places throughout the state and wear mm -hmm. their Jones County gear and have people ask about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, I'm blessed to live in a place with just great people, so it was, it was nice to be able to give back something they can be proud of. You know, when any new coach comes in, they want to talk about building a program. Not just having a good season, but you want to build a program, particularly a program that's been kind of flatlined to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that was your goal a year ago. What better way to do that for the kids that you have coming back and also for the kids in 7th, 8th, ninth grade to say, okay, this is what we want to do consistently, that's right? That's correct. That's what you got to do. Well, I mean, that's it. And so they understand the process now. They've been a part of the process. They've seen it. But anybody can do it once. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really can. Uh, we want to model ourselves after the, the north side, the Warner Rogers, uh, the schools that they made the playoffs every year. It's just a matter of how far yeah. will they go into playoffs each year. Sure. That's, the, that's the program we want to build. All right, let's talk about the defense for this year. Uh, you, you need some help at linebacker. That's the key for you, right? That's going to be one of our major question marks on, on our defense. We graduated all of our linebackers, so we've had to replace them all. They've had a great offseason, good summer. Uh, our, our linebackers, are real, the ones we got coming in, we feel pretty good about. Uh, and then we're blessed, obviously, with Therese Finney on the D-line mm -hmm. of our All-State guy who uh, led the state in sacks last year. So. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how you do on defense, but offense could be the key to the season just because the number of great skill players Jones County has. In our next report with Coach Rogers, we'll talk about Bradley Honeycutt and some of those other greyhounds who could put some points on the board this season.